Good morning, God afternoon, God evening, from wherever you're watching this from. I hope you all are doing great from your respective places. Welcome back yet again to another video, to another story. With me here, I have a story and it's about William. In quote, I truly believe that homelessness can be ended. And I'm like, the irony behind the words, because this is one thing he said for years. And no action has been implemented. No action has been seen taking place. And of course, he can't convince people any further that, you know what, we're doing something. Because uh, this is something that has existed for quite some time now. And William has the power. If he wanted to end homelessness, he would have done it. But such things are always just brought about. Whenever Harry and Meghan are at a peak of celebrating their success. Because this one, it's uh, basically just to distract people from the ASPY's award of the Duke of Sussex. But funny thing enough, it doesn't capture people's attention because we're still celebrating. We're still happy for Harry. And the fact that he was honored with the Pat Tillman's Award of the Year 2024, we so happy for that. We so happy for him. I don't know what you're thinking. If you still have hopes that at some point, you know, William will do something of the sort. But on my side, I'm like, I have no positive hopes. Not even for a bit. William is dangerously close to defrauding the public. Homelessness is a major political issue and can be resolved with extensive and thorough government planning. Plus hundreds of millions of experts. William's PR stunt demonstrates how far the monarchy will go to stay in power, but never ready to implement or do work or just make a difference. Somebody also said William is such a lot bloomer. This project will continue to friction in five years. And by the time he will be Almost 50 years old, considering Harry has just celebrated in Victor's, you know, in Victor's Gam 10th year anniversary, Ed's pity really will take so long to put idea into action. Probably it might get to 50, 55 to 60 before he makes the first single step that people would leave to call it a legacy that has written. That someone who lives and has more than five castles with more than a hundred rooms with all the services says it. If as false as a three coin pound, he has no idea what homelessness is and his belief are only resured to that. An idea, a project and nothing implemented, nothing as usual. It's all talk and no action. It's all talk and no action. That's what William does. That's what the public knows him for. Talking and promising and never implementing what he tends to say that he'll do. Wakshai is ridiculous. I spent the last six months attending football matches, not just Euros, garden parties, horse racing, and day. Harry is getting an award. He has to try and overshadow him. It was the same when Harry came for Invictus and Chuck giving him a title or army air cops. Really sad. They always hope that, you know what, we're going to bring an end to this guy. We're going to finish him like we're going to outshine and overshadow him in whatever way we can. But it's so unfortunate because none of their expectations, none of their anticipation ever comes to a fulfillment he and his family grifting family have more than enough places or palaces and other properties to house the homeless in a year round until they have been consoled and taught money management and new jobs skills they need to do something and stop talking about it because people are tired of fake promises People are tired of always having to listen to every 
to to the something each and every other time what a deep and well motivating you know statement that needs to be put into action and just put the bare word of mouth aside because this one is just too much and that is what kaiser had uh, to say i'll be checking it through an article kaiser wrote can we just stop for a moment and acknowledge the hilarity of Prince William doing some bigger homelessness project uh, launch in July? He's about to disappear for three full months uh, of summer vacation. But people, but before he disappears, uh, he's going to tell everyone about his landmark project to end homelessness. In case uh, you missed uh, the launch of Hoover's Homeward project last year, he spent three million pounds of Royal Foundation money, and those funds are being parceled out to six homelessness shelter halfway houses. While the donations are fine, my concern was that William was basically adding extra layers of bureaucracy to the system rather than allowing homeless charity to simply administer the funds as needed. Homeward was criticized across the board, though for a variety of reasons, not least of which was William's arrogant need to center himself as the sole savior of homeless people. Well, Continuing on that theme, William has now done a documentary in which people can see his, uh, him centering himself in the issue of homelessness. The two-part documentary called The Prince William, We Can End Homelessness, it's not supposed to come out until the fall. But William is well aware that his brother is about to pick up a major award. So the crack team at Cousinstone Parlors threw together a big speech for William to make today. Cousinstone Parlors sent out advanced copies to the speech to the British media and hoping at some point that they'll overshadow Harry. But it's so unfortunate that every single hard work of theirs, that of course isn't of pure positive, it always turns out to just end up as a flop. Because myself, I'm still carried out with Harry's speech, with the applaud, with the how Harry was appreciated. That's what's still clicking in my head. They released a video below, which is basically full of testimonials about how Homeward is the most groundbreaking thing ever. They are also calling this the one year ever, the one year anniversary of the five year project. But they are let. The one year anniversary was in June. It's weird that they held this one year anniversary January to the middle of July, because as I said, William is about to disappear for three months. One thing I'll give the film crew is that at least they didn't leave it off by centering William. At least we are hearing from the people on the ground, you know, and at the same time, the hard work didn't bear any good friends because it's still Harry Meghan, Harry this, Harry that, Harry the SPYs, Harry's a speech. That's still the topic of discussion. That's from my own perspective. I don't know what you have to say about this, but at the same time, William's PR stunt just failed once again. Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next more videos to come.